Hello ladies and germs. If you want to see how I got these bouncy, defined, juicy, and long-lasting curls, then just keep on watching. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to today's curly hair video. So I'm actually gonna be trying out some new products today. The summer is almost over in Texas. It is so hot here all the time and it's just impossible for me to wear my hair out. It's also very humid. So I did get out of the shower like an hour ago, which is why I need to refresh my hair with some water. You kind of want your hair to be as soaked as possible, you know, that it doesn't feel dry basically. In the shower, I use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Shampoo from Shea Moisture, this one right here. And then I decided to go for a new conditioner and it's the Aussie Miracle Coils. I feel like the Aussie brand actually moisturizes my hair and helps me detangle really well. I'm gonna use the Aussie Miracle Curls Leave-In Detangling Mix. This one I tried it the other day, but I didn't actually do like a routine with it. I just kind of put it in so my hair wouldn't be super dry and I really like it. And I also like the smell. So I'm gonna just put a lot in my hands and I'm gonna like completely cover my hair with this. If you have curly hair, you know that even if you detangle in the shower, it literally doesn't even matter because your hair just gets naughty again. <laughs> naughty, naughty girl. I'm gonna actually detangle again. So as you can see, I did part a little section there and I'm gonna do that maybe like two or three more times. That way the leave-in can like really penetrate the ends. All right, this is where the fun starts. So I'm gonna part my hair in half. So then we're gonna take an even smaller section from the section that we parted. So I bought a new gel because I've seen that a couple people have used this and they feel like it works for them even during hot temperatures. I don't know, they weren't living in Texas though, so I don't know if I should take that with a grain of salt, but it's a don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel. Here's what I'm thinking, we're gonna get creative. I'm thinking of using the pattern styling cream. All right, we're gonna take a little bit in our hands and we're gonna rake it on the sections. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna try out the gel. I have like a hundred different curl patterns on my head right now. So I am going to actually like finger coil it. If you don't want to finger coil, here's a method that people like. They like raking and then you put it in between your hands like that and then you like slide it down your hair like that. I'm not the biggest fan because as you can see, it it's not curling my hair properly. So I would rather take it in small sections and quickly just coil it like that. It might seem like it takes a long time, but you eventually get used to it. Like, the more you do, I've been doing this for like some time now. There we go. You see, boom, 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 super fast. Do the same thing on the other side. I think going forward, I'm just gonna use a little bit less of the pattern curling cream because this is probably meant for, and I think I've said this before, and, in my last curly hair video or something. This is probably meant for 3C and on, not anything less. Or or if you are gonna use it, use a tiny, tiny drop of it because it's pretty thick. Here's a trick I learned. I'm literally balding right here. And the reason I'm balding is because for most of my curly hair journey, that's where I was parting my hair. So we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna part it in a place where I'm not freaking bald. We're just gonna see if that helps with hair growth. I don't feel like, I feel like it's not going to, but it's rough out here, it's really rough. Anyway, so for the front, I'm actually not gonna use any pattern because you can see how there's already a lot of um, product there. I've just applied the gel through my hair and if I were to leave it, it would look like this, which we don't really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and coil this. That looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited for this actually. Not getting your curls to, to do what you want them to do is really frustrating because you see all these like beautiful curly hair models and their hair is perfect in every single picture all the time. Also, I'm trying to not give into consumerism anymore. I really hate having like a million products and shit like that all over my house. It just feels very suffocating. So that's why I kind of like to stick to the things that work for me. All right, so we're gonna flip our hair back and forth. Give you guys a little bounce action. 
very nice okay so that is my hair now i would not recommend doing this routine at night because it's probably going to take a little bit of time to dry although i do live in texas like i mentioned multiple times so i could probably just step outside and it'll be dry within a half second Alrighty, good morning oh Ooh. lord <laughs> I look like a little boy, but this little boy is about to turn into a queen. When I sleep, I usually put a, a pineapple in, but I don't like putting my bangs in a pineapple because it stretches them way too much. The curls are looking hella defined and really beautiful, but it doesn't feel greasy at all. And it's okay for your hair to look like a little mushroom top, like first day, second day. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of oil and I'm kind of just gonna go through my hair and see what can get separated just so that I can add a little bit of volume. Something like this, for example, I'll go to the very top and you just wanna like pull, not really like rake your fingers or anything because you're gonna ruin the curl. There we go. There's some pieces that you don't want to touch, like this one, for example. I, there's a little bit of frizz, as you can see, so I'm gonna just leave that. Here's the tools that I usually use. It's either this wide tooth comb or I use, okay, can you see that? <laughs> I go all the way into my scalp, like press down until the comb is literally stuck in there and then I pull up a little bit. And what that does is that at the root of your hair, it's actually loosening the curls so that it overall gives you more volume. You really wanna flip your hair around so that it gets maximum volume. And sometimes the comb will just do its thing. Alrighty y'all, that is it for today's video. I am super excited that these products ended up working out and I will definitely be using them for the remainder of the excruciating Southern summer. But don't forget to check the description box for all the products that I used and thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.